EBMT brings together the very best in the field of HSCT and cellular therapy. Now as the 47th annual meeting and the second virtual edition gets started, we're here to bring you the highlights on EBMT TV. We're back for Monday at the 47th annual meeting of the EBMT. Today sees the big event of the meeting as the Presidential Symposium unveils some of the past year's top science. On the show today, we'll speak to the Van Beckham and Basic Science Award winners and visit Germany's largest donor registry. First though, with the nurses program getting underway, let's hear from John Murray and some special guests. What's not to miss today? Welcome to the EBMT virtual meeting. Today's Monday. We've had a great opening session for the nurses group meeting. This is where it all begins. We've now got sessions on CAR-T, graft versus host disease, supportive and palliative care. We have sessions from our paediatric group as well as our research committee. Here are a few of our really exciting speakers who are going to tell you a little bit about their presentations. Hello, are you interested in infections? I'm looking forward to seeing you at the poliomavirus talk. We will review together the last slides about the BK virus. See you there! The important aspects in donor workup are practical, ethical, psychological, as well as psychosocial. We need to protect the safety, health, and the free choice of potential donors. And this is challenging. Hi, I hope you will attend my session on pulmonary GVHD as it is an important and underestimated issue of the hematologic stem cell transplantation. So I look forward to seeing you there. Please tune in and listen to their whole talks in full. I hope you all have an excellent meeting. Some great sessions to watch out for there. Coming up, it's this year's Van Beckham and Basic Science Award winners. But first, we take a look at one of Germany's largest donor registries, Stiftung Action Nockenmark Spend Bayern. Heute haben wir die Situation, dass wir nahezu jedem Patienten einen geeigneten Spender vermitteln können. Das verdanken wir den vielen Millionen freiwilligen Spendern, die sich inzwischen weltweit in unsere Register eingetragen haben. Ja, die Beratung und Betreuung durch die AKW war wirklich sehr gut. Ich hoffe, dass ich damit wirklich einem Menschen helfen konnte. EBMT TV is brought to you virtually from the 47th annual meeting of the EBMT. You can find us at the entrance to the virtual platform via the navigation menu and at the EBMT hub. You'll also find us on the EBMT website and on the meeting app. And make sure to hit the playlist button to check out extended versions of all of our content, from award winners to hospital and donor centre site visits. It's all on EBMT TV. The 2021 Van Beckham Award goes to Professor Aeolia Brisso for new research looking into the impact of post-transplantation cyclophosphamide after RIC regimen allo-HCT. Professor Brisso, why was it important to look more at the impact that PTCI could have in these patients? A GVHD still remains a um, challenging task in bone marrow transplantation. And we know that ATG has been approved for much unrelated donor. But ATG um, has a cost of toxicity and immunosuppression. We thought it was really important to see if PTCI could, do, could replace or what was the impact of PTCI in the setting of fludarabine busulfan in this uh, patient. So how extensive was the study that you ran looking into this? So this is a phase two 
randomized prospective study. Patient received fludarabine busulfan with two days of busulfan, and they were randomized either to um, receive uh, ATG or either to receive PTCI. And we had almost 40 patients in each arm. And at the end, um, the, the outcome in the two arms were comparable. So uh, it is an important data and result to see that PTCI and ATG finally uh, give the same outcomes for the patient. So what's next for this research then? How are you going to take it beyond phase two? First, it is um, what we presented at the ABMT meeting is the first analysis of this phase two. So we have to complete it uh, with all the results. And after, we will have to decide if it will be important to, f to run a phase three study to have more um, consistent um, data. This year's Basic Science Award winner, Dr. Duke Sung Lei, is looking at a new way to protect against acute GVHD. Dr. Lei, what are intestinal tissue resident macrophages? Intestinal resident macrophages are known as housekeeper. Uh, they are, uh, at the front lines, of host defense within uh, the gastrointestinal tract. Um, and tissue resident macrophages play a key role in intestinal homeostasis managing gut inflammation and promote intestinal damage um, repair. And what can they do against GVHD? To better understand what's going on during the T-cell attack uh, in GVHD target tissues, we use transplantation mouse model. We found that uh, once we deplete this uh, tissue resident macrophages, acute GVHD immediately spins out of control and ends up in a fatal uh, situation within extremely short time periods. How were you able to observe this? What methods did you use? Uh, to characterize and phenotype and origin of uh, uh, intestinal macrophages, we use single cell RNA sequencing, uh, multicolor flow cytometry, transgenismide, uh, photoconversion, and fatal mapping techniques. Um, finally, we also investigated patient sample and uh, could also see a strong correlation between pd one positive uh, intestinal macrophages and reduced acute GVSD. So what impact did you see and what does this mean for treatment? In our study, it became clear that there is very important cell population uh, and we need now to learn how we can even enhance uh, their function to protect from acute GVSD. Um, so um, clearly, at more basic research, it needs to better understand what are the triggers that they uh, differentiate into this phenotype and acquire their functions. This year's prestigious award winner is doing great work to improve patient outcomes. Well, that's it from us today. Do come back tomorrow for the John J. Van Rood Award winner, a visit to the Siteman Cancer Centre and a look at Canadian blood services. We'll see you then.